All right, let's look at our supply demand lines. Uh, let me make a quick video for you guys. We just had a trade that we stalked live in the room, and it was executed. Almost a five to one reward to risk. Wednesday, we had three back-to-back -back trades that were almost 20 to one reward to risk. 200 tick trades. Maximum stop $150 per one contract. 100 tick potential Wednesday. Maximum risk 150 bucks. Yesterday we had a $1,300 trade potential right off the get go from our supply demand lines. Maximum risk 150 bucks. Almost a 13 to one reward to risk. Today we were stalking this trade right, and we're in the room. When I said if we break this level, supply demand line, look for the first retest. And our next zone is above this, which I'll show you. So we were here, we're talking in the room. Right there. It says 9 o'clock that we want to break through this level because trend is up. So here's how you want to do it. These supply demand lines are given 24 to 40 hours earlier. In fact, these lines have been on here for 48 hours, some of them, since the big hit at $6.5 oil per barrel. What we want to do is play yesterday's video. Actually, we didn't do a video yesterday. Um, look at the chart I sent you out in the mail yesterday. We want to do a couple things. We want to look for the trend first, make this easy. Trend. We want to find the trend. Moving averages are worthless. We don't care about moving averages. We don't care about them. They're terrible. But they're great for trend direction. On this long time frame, I have these supply and demand lines. My white lines above my magenta, we've been up all morning, right? We want to find the trend. Trend's up. Second, we want to find what? What do we want to find second, members, traders? It's the second thing we want to look at when we're trading these markets. I don't care what market it is, the supply and demand lines work on all markets. The automated indicator will plot this for you on all your charts. Second thing we look for, anybody, you know what to look for. Second thing we look for is what? We can't have the retracement until we have the level. Got to find the level. Whoa. What did I just do? I just put level as far as a... <laughs> I put the level down as far as a instrument. One second. We gotta find the level, right? The second thing is we find level. So first we find the trend. First we find the trend. Then we find the level. These levels are given 24 to 48 hours earlier. So this was the level. We knew this was a level. The level this morning. It's called the low to the exact tick this morning on a break retest. It called the high almost the exact tick was one tick off to a break retest. Breakthrough level retest called the high here this morning early in the session. Broke inside, retested, called it twice. This was to the exact tick. Then it called the high again. Only went through it by a couple ticks, got rejected. So I, <clears throat> we know this level is a good level because my accumulation distribution supply lines and demand lines Showed it got rejected. So we're stalking this trade right here this morning. I was talking to the room. We're stalking it. I said, if we get through this level, 1743, we're going to look for a break retest. So that's the second thing we look for. Find trend. Find your levels because they're on there. They're static. They're on there 24, 48 hours before. The next thing we're going to look for is what, guys? What's the third characteristic we're going to look for? We found the trend. We found the level to trade off of. What's the third thing? What's the third thing we look for? Speed. We need speed in the market. I need to see a speed bar. The great thing about my system is we know when there's speed coming in the market. A speed bar is categorized as a one candle close inside of a closed trend box. This is how we got three back-to-back -back trades for almost 600 ticks potential just two days ago. This is how we got a $1,300 potential trade yesterday morning we're stocking the trade. We had a speed bar that came in right exactly at my institutional level, which I'll show you. It's a, it categorizes a one or two candle close inside of the what? Inside of the closed trend box. A candle close. Not if it straddles it. It's got to be all by itself. 
What's the fourth thing we look for then, guys? Fourth thing we look for is what? Now we're trying to enter the market. What's the fourth thing we look for? We need a full retracement. You got it, Stuart. Good job. Full retracement off of what time frame? This is a 9 sim. We don't want to trade 9 sim. Too big a stop. What time frame do we look for the full retracement off of? We're right off, the, off the 5 sim or the 3 sim, right? So we're looking for a full retracement, and then we have our entry. Let's take a look at it. So I drew these lines up before we broke out. I drew this line up for our traders in the room before we broke out. This is a 5 sim rank. This, this now your stop is limited risk. I got a maximum maximum on a five sim Rico chart of 15 ticks. Period. $150 loss. Period. So two days ago, when we had three back-to-back -back trades, almost 200 ticks each. $600 potential or 600 tick potential on three trades. All three of those trades had a maximum risk of $150 each. On the three sim, maximum risk of $110 each. So here's my level. We had a speed bar that broke through on my large time frame here. That's a speed bar. So what do we do? What's the next thing after speed? We look for a full retracement. It's a simple break retest trade. We broke out. We retested. It stopped to the exact tick at my level. Right to my exact tick. I have a green reversal bar. Right there, which I have a trend filter built in, there's your entry. Your stop loss is always two ticks below the swing low. $500 trade potential to the upside on a full retracement. You get a second shot at it here on a wave five, full retracement. If you want it, down here. But I want you to get right at the institutional levels. Let's see what it looks like on a three sim. Three sim, same way. Here's how we trade it. It got rejected the first time around. We're stalking the trade inside of here from 9 o'clock. We were stalking this trade all through here, stalking it. I was talking about it all the way from 9 o'clock. We're stalking the trade right here. So we said, hey, the trend is up on the big time frame. We get through this level. Look how much time you got. We had almost 20 minutes of stalking the trade. We had over 24 to 48 hours of knowing this level. That's the leading indicator. We broke out, we retested to the exact tick of my level that, that was on here for 48 hours ago. $500 potential move to the upside. That's how we stock trades. Okay, so that's the level of importance. You look for break retest trades. Break retest trades. Gerald Grover do uh, um the S&P 500 real quick. We had a huge trade on the S&P just a second ago. Gerald, switch over to the S&P real quick, bud. Hey, Gerald. Gerald, we got to get him some coffee this morning. There he is. <laughs> I know, I'm pretty fast this morning. Okay, so we go from level level. We had a break retest trade here this morning on the S&P. It came up right here, right up. level on the S&P, level to level right here, boom. Break retest on my smaller time frame, called it. We had a huge move, 10-point move up this morning. Then we came up, got rejected, went back down. Then we came up, had a break retest right here, break, retest, two-point trade in the S&P. And then I told traders the only way that I counter trend trade the market against these moving averages on the break retest trade is if I get back inside of the supply demand levels and then look for the retest and sure enough on my small time frame there it is it came back inside it retested on my smaller time frame and it got a nice big healthy trade Derek good job by capturing this back inside so what we do, go back to crude, is we're trying to trade level to level, guys and gals. We're trying to trade level to level. The key for us is we'll get through all these levels, right? Yesterday, 
Yes, here's yesterday's morning's trades. Watch. We were stalking the trade yesterday morning. Let me review this before we put this on another trade coming up right now. We want to look for trend. Trend is up on our large time frame. Trend is up right here, right? Moving averages up. This is our large time frame, 9 sim. Trend is up. These levels drawn here 24 hours prior. We find the level. Then we look for speed right here, the speed bar. You see the speed bar that came in? Let me get this as a big marker. And this works on all markets, all currency, all stocks. Even works on ETFs. There's my speed bar. That's a one candle close. We're getting speed through the market. We look for a full retracement on my five Simrinko. It happened here. It happened there. It went from zone to zone for a big trade, $1,300 move. Then it called the high. Then we broke out again, called the high. We had a sell signal here, went back down to the zone. And that's how we do it. Trend, level, speed, full retracement.